Audio! Hi everyone! Lost it here, back in action for more Sketch and Beauty's attraction. That's right, we're here with Laurence! As we try to figure out exactly what's going on with this investigation and how exactly these murders that have been happening, or attempted murders, has connected to the past few things that's been happening from uh, way back when. About that sketch uh, you mentioned just now. What? <laughs> you want to see my uh, art? You should have been honest about it for the start. Look, here it is. Oh, so pretty. What is this? I already told you. It's a sketch of beauties. Yeah, sh they're all pretty cute. I'm gonna be real. Larry gets it. Uh, but just to be clear, the beauties only refers to Justy and a caddy. Uh, the uh, plump lady has nothing to do with that. Then why did you draw her on the same page? Well, I was taking a break uh, from my still uh, life painting when those beauties caught my eye. I guess I just drew them on the same page without thinking. So you're saying that the pictures on this page were each drawn separately? have drawn them at different times. By the way, there's a drawing of the beautiful little uh, Miss uh, K on the other page. Uh, wow! Uh, beautiful, huh? <laughs> Thanks! Larry, you drew this exactly as you saw it, correct? Well, well yeah! Even I can't draw what I can't see. I recreate the scene perfectly, even the delicate shades. Delicate shades, huh? Hmm. Now I think about it, they might- the boo-boos might be extra big. <laughs> I think that's what he's hmming <laughs> about. I don't want to admit it, but this picture might be of uh, help to this investigation. The contents of the sketch and the service caught in the fountain patio. Seems there's a contradiction between the two. I'll need to expose this contradiction using my powers of deduction. Can I borrow this uh, sketch for a while? Uh, sure! I can even uh, sign it for you if you like. I think I'll pass. Okay. We got the beauty sketch. And I'm guessing that's it. Then who else do you have to talk to? Maybe Kate? If if I go about it? Yeah, I think Kate's the last uh hold on the situation. What if we present her of this? Something might happen. Yes, it's a sketch done by your pseudo artist over there. This sketch is really well done! Are you giving it to me as a colonization gift? No, for the time being, this is a valuable piece of evidence. You see, too bad. The kind of such a response from the museum creator. That man has some exceptional talent. Apparently so. Well, she got a response from it. Can we talk to her? No, we can't. We're not allowed. <sighs> what if I have logic? I might have logic. Yeah, there we go. Minty aroma, different tea aroma. Normillium. Oh no. No? Okay, maybe I'm going, I'm going a little too fast for this. That's fine. Oh, I'll reconsider. Thoughts were switched. Different tea aroma. That's why that happened for that. So we did get it. Cool. Maybe the reason why the Ceylon tea smelled different was because the pots had been switched. Eh, really? The taste of the tea itself did not actually change after all. Let's go uh, ask Miss Hull about it in more detail. Miss Hull? Was the reason why the Ceylon tea 
smell different because the pots were switched? Yes. It's certainly possible. It had a fresh minty aroma. Not unlike that of uva tea. Um, I remember now. I prepared some mint tea yesterday. I'm sure that the aroma just happened to remain in the teapot. Oh, I don't think so, sweetheart. Is that really all there is to it? Nope. 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 A minty aroma was emanating from the pot Larry had replaced. Miss Hall said the aroma was left over from the mint tea she prepared yesterday. Indeed. She seemed less surprised to find out that Larry broke the pot. And more surprised by the fact that the pots had been switched. That's right! Normally it would have been the reverse. A broken teapot is much more shocking. She was probably trying to hide this teapot. Hide the pot? One of the characteristics of Nomilium is a minty aroma. There's a possibility that she is hiding Nomilium inside this teapot. What? Inside the pot? It's only a possibility. But now, but it's one worth investigating. This also means that Lee digested some Nomilium. So... Mr. The Best, I assume you haven't found the Nomilium yet. Huh? Uh, oh, oh. I've had the entire art museum searched. I haven't reached any reports yet. And what about you? Don't you have any ideas? Only one. I knew it. Nobody but me would be able to find it. Wait, what? You have an idea where it is? Indeed. Th then tell me! It may have been in this teapot that Miss Hull had used. Oh, this tea is pretty nice. It would make the perfect present for the best prosecutor. It's not a present. It's an important piece of evidence. Oh, it's just evidence. And I guess I'll have Ferenz take a look at it. Oh, they're all just kind of right there. Monsieur Edgeworth? Is there something wrong with the teapot I used? This teapot has a minty aroma to it. It's the same aroma as one of the two chemicals used to create the poison gas. Monsieur Edgeworth! Surely you don't mean... You suspect me of having to set off the poison gas? I do. Setting up the poison gas trap in the Autumn Palace would have required some preparation. As the curator of this museum, you're the only one who could have prepared it in advance. I wonder about that. Preparations for the opening of the museum took about a week. And I received help from both outsiders and Madame Adelacia. I think there are people besides me who are also suspicious. Of course. Delacia is also under scrutiny. Furthermore, I don't even know how to create something like poison gas. Even if you found a million in my teapot, there is no way I could have prepared the poison gas. But then, I look forward to hearing the analysis results of the teapot. Her excuse is that she doesn't know how to prepare the poison gas. We must find a way to shatter that excuse. People moved. Well, she's been hanging out with that girl right there, so I definitely see that being the case. But, I definitely think our main murder suspect is the one that they tried to murder today. I'm almost 95.67% sure. Okay, so you're just, you're doing the same thing. That's fine. Okay. I feel that your conduct thus far has been out of line. 
I will make sure to bring this uh, matter up to the PIC. Do whatever you want. But in return, we're going to be uh, doing whatever we want as well. If I remember correctly, you're the little Miss Great Thief. I will have to report your misconduct to the PIC as well, young lady. Sure, since it will only serve to uh, increase my fame as the Great Thief. <laughs> yeah, so we already seen that before. Do we talk to him or the forensics, dude? Let's we'll talk to the best. Mr. DeVest, you're getting a bit in my way if you stand here. Huh. <laughs> I am not going to move. Just do what you can over there. Don't say that. It's probably the best if you just stand over here. The best, you say? Okay. I'll go stand over there. Everything is fine as long as you add the best to it. We recover the victim's body. Uh, forensics are currently performing an autopsy. And what of the investigation in the fountain? The fountain is completely clear. You can cleanse both your heart and soul with it. Body was floating in this fountain just a moment ago. Oh. Okay, does that mean we could actually go in here? And that door leads to the Winter Palace. Maple trees are autumn trees. The room must have been uh, placed here as a red herring. Ooh. Well then, how about we uh, freeze it to make it look like a maple tree in the winter? Please don't complicate matters any further. That actually could be a clue, though. There's a fir tree in front of this door! But that door leads to the Autumn Palace. Fir trees are winter trees, so this must have been placed here as a red herring. Well then, why don't we paint it on red? Hey, fir trees are green all year round. Ah! I knew that! So nothing here, really. Do we just go over to where she's at and, and get at her? Oh, I guess we could talk to her. Poison gas trap. We do need to, like, deduce at a certain point. But of what? Family photo. The rock salt with Dover's blood. 18 years ago, Dover used this to carry his ice sculpture. Uh, present. What if I present this? Okay, so they're they're just saying. <laughs> oh, you're seeing it in a song. Because Kay and, and, and Kat get along together. Kay loves girls. I love Kay for loving girls because honestly, W love W moment. Yeah. I didn't think it was gonna be anything. I was hoping it was gonna be something. I don't think we have any more logic to, to, to dust by. So what if we were to talk to Larry? present his beauty mark thing. Ah, they're just so beautiful. Uh, Katie and Justy. So which one's your type, uh, Lawrence? Well, both of them are my type. And of course, you too, Kay. So anyone's your type as long as they're female. You just like me for real. Not like that at all! Even I have standards! Like that pink lady I drew in, the, in the, my sketch. She's way too old for me. This man. You could tell Delicia's age with just a single look? Hmm. That's kind of interesting info, but... I don't really get anything else here. What, what do I look for, then? Maybe the... It appears the body has already been discovered by the police. I was the body of the victim from 18 years ago found floating in the fountain. I mean, wouldn't the body have uh, gone all goopy after 18 years? I don't know if I would call it goopy. It certainly would have required a special method to preserve the body. Yeah, 
I wonder if such a method even exists. He was a forensic guy. Any new information? Uh, yes. Normillium and Vitalium have been uh, detected in, in the fountain water. We must have flown through the stream from the Autumn Palace to the fountain. Aside from the chemicals, we also found high levels of sugar. We're working hard on investigating it. Sugar in the fountain water. What could have caused that? Oh. This is Edgeworth. It's gumshoe, sir! Did something happen? And actually, right now, all the investigators uh, but me have uh, left the Winter Palace. So I can finally tell you uh, uh, what we found. Not good for the detective to be leaking out information about the investigation, but... His resourcefulness has saved me many times these past few days. All the sculptures in the Winter Palace have melted. Uh, there's still some liquid left in the cases, but... There's less in the Gemini case than in the Tauros case. There's still liquid in... There's still liquid in the glass cases? Yes, sir! We just investigated the light uh, blue uh, liquid a moment ago. We only detected the sugar in the Taurus case, uh, but... For some reason, in the Gemini case, we detected three different substances. Three substances. They consist of uh, sugar, salt, and blood. Blood? Blood and salt were detected in the Gemini case. I wonder whose blood it could have been. I've asked forensics to uh, look into it, sir. Right. I leave it to you, detective. That reminds me. The forensics investigating the uh, fountain patio uh, contacted me. It seems the sugar found in the uh, fountain matches the uh, that found in the light blue liquid. Oh, well, that sounds like valuable information. Oh. Is that all the new information you have for me? Uh, now that you mention it, uh, we found the rainbow light uh, device in there too. The device was used to disguise the Autumn Palace. It seems the device that was used in the IS-7 incident is also connected to this one. I should listen to what Delicia has to say about that. I have to go back to investigating now, sir. But when we get the results for the blood test, I'll let you know right away. Yes, thank you, detective. Was that Gummy calling? Sure was a long call. Hmm. But thanks to him, we now have an important piece of information. In order to break Miss Hall's alibi, I'll need to talk to everyone involved in the IS-7 incident. Oh man, we gotta do that now? Alright. There's a lot of talking in this one. Delicia, will you be willing to aid in the investigation? Yesy! Of course! Anything for Millie and Kefi! Uh, I'll listen to whatever you have to say! I was wondering if you could stop calling me Millie. Stop calling me Kefe! Eh! That's out of the question! I can't just change a name I've already decided on! Uh, if we ask her, she won't listen to what we have to say at all. <laughs> okay. Let's let's give her the badge. Bam! Oh, didn't Greki have a different badge? Yes, my father was a defense attorney, and I chose a different path than my father. Ah, I see. So that's how it is. It can't be helped, eh? Since you're at that age. But when you get a bit bigger, I'm sure you'll understand that your father loved you. <laughs> this is this is Edgeworth's like rebellion way of thinking of like, oh, I'll never be a defense attorney. Okay, it's not a phase. <laughs> Being a prosecutor is a phase, everybody. And frankly, I'm tired of 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 the the uh, the. SJW saying that it's not. Because everyone goes through the rebellious phase, there's no reason to be ashamed about it. 
What? I didn't become a prosecutor because I was in a rebellious phase. We argued. Actually, let's let's give her the the, the picture. This sketch is this the one called the sketch of beauties? And that's what the one who drew it called it. Well, it seems you were excluded from it. Was that boy perhaps Lawrence? I'd love to chat with him uh, one on one later. Hmm. It would be my pleasure to introduce you. Mr. Edgeworth, you're making an awfully evil face right now. <laughs> it's like the piece of shit Larry's gonna get what's coming from. Setting off poison gas. I'd like to ask you something since you're a pharmacist. Exactly how would one gain the knowledge required to set off poison gas? Well, that's basic knowledge for any pharmacist acquainted with Megatoxin X. It even says in the warning label, Danger, do not mix with an anilium. Then is there another way for someone who isn't a pharmacist to attain that information? Hmm, well, it might be possible if they've seen the angel's recipe. The recipe book that was the grand prize for the contest 18 years ago. Since it also contains the recipe to prepare a Megatoxin X. Oh. Does this mean you've uh, also seen the contents of the angel's recipe? Yes, yeah, see. That's a given, of course. The pharmaceutical uh, company I work for is the Master Group. It's the company that makes the Cold uh, Killer X uh, medicine. Cold Killer X. The cold medicine that promises to kill cold's good. After Jeffy got uh, declared guilty, the company took back the recipe book. However, only a small group of elite pharmacists have been allowed to see it, though. This woman is also a part of that small group of elite pharmacists? Apparently! You know anything about the decorations that are used in the uh, museum? Specifically, the fluorescent uh, claws and a special device called a rainbow light device. Yes, see, of course I do. Because they are presents uh, that I gave to Kathy. As an apology for breaking the rules 18 years ago, I gave her four new uh, rock salt lamps and the four fluorescent uh, claws I used to look like this. Wow! That sounds nice! Pleasant cross and rock salt lamps? <laughs> it seems like only uh, us girls can understand how wonderful they are. That's a cruel thing to say, Miss Delicious. I like them too, you know. Eh, that was back when Rarity was still the cute little boy. Back when Mr. Shields was a cute little boy? Mm, can't even imagine it. Are they the same decorations you saw 18 years ago? Probably. Uh, the rock salt lamp, the, cl uh, the cloth, the rainbow light device, they all seem the same. Both lessons uh, cloths were used in the Autumn Palace. But I have a feeling I saw one more in the same cloth. It's true! Look, I got proof right here in my bag! What is he searching for? Not this. Not this either. Hmm? Never seen cloth like that recently. Let's show jealousy and have a confirmation. Uh, confirm my suspicions. Okay. Boom. Boom. Wasn't there a dirty rag in your bag that looks similar to this? Eh! I'm not going to give any information to someone who calls it a dirty rag. Then, would it be better if I called it a washcloth? Eh! Wrong again! It's a fluorescent uh, cloth! O oopsie! That was supposed to be a secret. Please tell me all you know about this fluorescent cloth. Wow, she's bad at this. Please tell me the reason why you hid this cloth. Oh, I guess I have no choice since the cat's out of the bag. I found this cloth floating in the fountain. 
the night after, I was called to the Autumn Palace. So that's the moment Larry captured his so-called sketch of beauties. At first, I thought one of the fluorescent cloths I'd given Kathy had washed away. But didn't you only give uh, four fluorescent uh, cloths as a present to this museum? There were four fluorescent uh, cloths uh, covering the sculptures in the Autumn Palace, right? So that's when I realized that this was the cloth that went missing 18 years ago. Oh? The poison gas uh, broke out because someone had stolen my Megatoxin X. So I thought the fluorescent uh, cloth had also been used for the crime. I was afraid I'd be suspected, so I didn't say anything about it uh, to anyone. I see. But I sure feel a lot better after talking about it. Stress isn't good for your figure, after all. Eighteen years ago, the cloth that was wrapped around the body went missing. Who would have thought it would turn up in a fountain along with the body? I see. So, that's all good and, and done. I guess we talked to Caddy. What if we... I don't think that really would produce anything. Uh, maybe this? That's a special uh, forensic cloth I received from Madame Adelacia. Can you tell me how many cloths you, she gave you? There were... four. The uh, Autumn Palace also had four cloths and a cloth. I feel like I saw one more. I think she is hiding something. Uh... Is she really hiding that portion? I don't think we have a Megatoxin X thing going on here. Maybe the liquid analysis? Okay, she don't know. Dang it. I'm pretty sure there's still one more thing that we need to do here on this perspective, but I don't know what. Yeah, let's let's see. What kind of methods for medicine preparation are described in the angel's recipe? It contains many ways of preparation, so I can't explain them all in such a short time. Although, if you really want to know, I could tell you. It will take about two hours, though. I could tell you every one of them while matching the melody. Let's start with my explanation. What should we do? Listen to it all? No, that won't be necessary. No, but... Hmm... Maybe... Nope. 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 I'll no go. <sighs> this investigation is providing to be a lot longer than I thought it would be. I thought we had a slam dunk situation here, but... Considering everything, I think we're at our wit's end. Uh... I only really have the two. Okay, so this, this is the same thing here. We don't need to worry about that, so that means both of them should be roughly the same kind of thing. What about our logic? We only have the one. Contained in the book. Oh, yeah. Let's talk to Uncle Ray. Uncle Ray might know something. Mr. Shields, could you tell me what kind of person Miss Hall is? Miles, don't tell me. You also interested in Getty? No. Well, all joking aside, all Uncle Ray could say is, the Getty I know is a true admirable woman. Great thing is, she has always uh, wanted to remain here and wait for a master's return. However, uh, she was driven out of the mansion by master's relatives. What? She was driven out of the mansion? That's because Cat isn't related by blood to Mr. Master. 
With no family and a job taken from her, she could only live on uh, with the song and dance that Mr. Massa had taught her. Well, she's now retired as a world famous actress, though. Why did she retire? Because she had already uh, saved up enough money to buy this mansion. Seems she got, even got back the angel's recipe that has been uh, taken by the master group. Oh. This mansion where she uh, looked for Mr. Master had been everything to her. She probably just wanted to take back everything that she lost. Seems that Mr. Shields sympathizes with Miss Hole. But you could also say that her actions have taken away everything Mr. Master had. I mean, I'm gonna still stand Miss Hall. I'm gonna be real. You stand a bad bitch. Connect four! The method used to set off the poison gas is explained in the Angel's Recipe. And the current owner of the Angel's Recipe is Miss Hull. Ah, so that means... Indeed. It means that it's possible she knew about to set off the poison gas. With this, we can expose her lies for what they are. Uh oh, spagatos. Let's get at her. So, we can't do that quite yet. Maybe now? Okay, so she's just gonna say the same thing again here. Uh, maybe if we present this? Nope. How do I get her to talk about that specifically? Hmm. Because we have the angel's recipe, the poison gas trap, but it's not letting me in with everything else, and it's not doing an investigation is done. Larry, do you got anything else to, to tell me? Ah, no. You don't. So what if we talk... Oh no, I didn't want to do that. Yes, 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 I understand. So maybe the liquid thing? Did we show her the liquid? I don't I don't think we did. Let's talk to her again. Give her the liquid report. Nope. She don't know. She's dancing. See? That's how you know she don't know. Did you open up with anything in particular? Uh, she's kind of done. I think you can have up to four and then it's done. And then you could have turnovers on them, but that's about it. So what if we talk to Uncle Ray again? We got two. What if we present him with more? <laughs> this is a... Uh... This evidence holds the so-called uh, key to the case, right? Uh, it's possible. Okay, so... Those, that's his... I don't know. Okay, so... Uh, what would give him a rise? What about this? It's called the Angel's Recipe because it contains the uh, recipes of many miraculous uh, medicines. Is there any medicine in particular that you're interested in? Uncle Ray? <laughs> Not really. How about you, Kay? I love the medicine that made me a genius. Turn invisible! Or gave me the ability to fly! Are you expecting a little too much from a medicine? I I feel like she isn't. I feel like she's, she's asking just enough. Uh, maybe this? Nope. 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 I don't know who to give to what. Nope. He would only have so many things to say. We never did manage to find a 
horse and cloth that, that went missing 18 years ago. Isn't it weird for something that stands out like that to just disappear? So the question becomes, what is overlooked? Or was it hidden, right? By someone? Okay. Hidden by somebody. What if we, we show her the the fluorescent thing? Did we already do that or not? So shabam. Seed. There were four. And she kind of paused at the there were four bits. She don't know. She she likes dancing. That's what we know. Uh maybe this? Nope. Dang. Miss Hall, why can't you just give me something? Anything. Arg. Nope. No flavor text, no nothing. I think we have everything that we can really do about things, so what if we talked to the best again? There might be something else. Nope. What about you? Nope. Nope, nope, nope. Oh, Zolcho. Okay, so... I'm gonna I'm keep messing around until I fucking get something. Until then, though, I will be looking. I found it. We have to deduce this little thing. <sighs> I didn't realize that the, I didn't have to deduce on the sketch. It was on the cart. So I'm a little annoyed. But it's fine. So deduce. Is this spot somehow connected to any of the evidence I hold? Uh, yes, actually, to this. But... Yeah. It's it's the shade. It's not a blue. Larry, there's something I want to ask you about your sketch. Huh? You want to like show a sketch in, uh, from the theme professor, uh, Lawrence, do, uh, do ya? No, I just need to ask you something. The tablecloth in your sketch, are you sure it was light blue? Yeah, my eyes never failed me. But the one on the service uh, caught here is white, isn't it? Dude. You're always so busy thinking of with just your head, but you miss the obvious. What's with that look on your face? When I drew that painting, I was using the cart with the T I said on it, remember? As I was tidying up uh, the broken uh, pottery shards. That's not something to be proud of. Then right then, uh, Katie came out of the Winter Palace. I had to hurry and hide the broken teapot so that she wouldn't notice. Oh. Did you just say Miss Hall came out of the Winter Palace? That's right, but this time... She was pushing another service cart. The tablecloth was light blue, just like how I drew it. Oh. What did she do with that service cart? Beats me. She went into the solar palace with it. So I don't know. When she came out, she was pushing the lift trolley. The lift trolley? When I called out to her, she was so surprised that she uh, just left it there. She's so cute when she sighed. A second service cart in a lift trolley. Maybe there were two tea sets along with two service carts. We'll have to verify it with Miss Hull. Okay. Have we, we done der darst it? Two service carts. Is it true you keep two service cots at the premise? Yes. Is there something wrong? Oh dear. I was looking at one of the sketches from the so-called artist and... I noticed that he had drawn the cot's tablecloth light blue. Light blue? Are you sure you weren't mistaken, Amonsia? I only use, ever use tablecloths that appear white. 
That's true. The tablecloth here doesn't have a single spot on it. Yes, that's because I always change them. Immediately, whenever they get dirty. Did Larry really get the color wrong again? Uh, then? What were you doing uh, when the sketch was drawn? At the time, I was just doing my job as usual. Then, could you tell me exactly what that work entails? Uh, what were you doing when you were uh, drawn in the sketch? From the looks of the drawing, it doesn't seem like you were transporting the tea. This was when that was the living chocolates to all the people in the investigation. Ah, how nice! Chocolates! I wish I could have uh, got some too. There are still a few left, so please eat these, then. I made them myself. Though it's possible they might not suit your taste. Woohoo! <laughs> Thank you so much! Hmm. Thank you. Perhaps it's because she had them in her pocket, but looks like they melted a bit. Oh, melted chocolates. Mmm, sweet goodness! <laughs> I'm happy to hear you say that. These chocolates are a little misshaped. But I'm glad to get some sugar into my system. Although, they're a little too sweet for my taste. FINALLY! COMPLETE! And next time, y'all. Now that everything's left for the teapot and such, we'll figure all that out next time. Until then, though, everybody, thank y'all for watching. Sayonara. Bye-bye.